Alcohol and energy drinks are a match made in hell. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and if you're someone over the age of 21 who likes to frequent dance clubs, then chances are you've probably combined alcohol and energy drinks at least once in your life. Makes sense, right? You're tired and you have no energy, but you still want to party. Well, stop doing that, because according to science, it's really bad for your health. The rate of emergency room visits involving energy drinks has doubled between 2007 and 2011, prompting the FDA to ban most pre-mixed alcoholic energy drinks. Unfortunately, that ban doesn't extend to bars, who still happily serve customers all kinds of alcoholic energy drink concoctions. A 2012 study found that people who combine energy drinks with alcohol were 600% more likely to suffer from heart palpitations and 400% more likely to suffer from tremors, irritability, and insomnia than people who just drink alcohol alone. But heart problems aren't the only side effect of doing this. There are also psychological effects that explain why this combination is so bad for your body. Numerous studies have shown that mixing energy drinks and alcohol not only increases your likelihood of being in an accident, it also impairs your judgment in two key ways. It makes you think you're less drunk than you actually are, and it makes you crave alcohol more strongly. A series of experiments published in 2012 found that people who consumed alcoholic energy drinks rated their own intoxication as being lower than people who had identical blood alcohol levels but had consumed no energy drinks. Other studies have also shown that people who have alcoholic energy drinks tend to consume more alcohol and drink for longer, partly because the caffeine buzz, which can last for up to six hours, eliminates those feelings of tiredness that usually cause someone to stop drinking. Even sodas, which contain significantly less caffeine than energy drinks, have been shown to heighten intoxication. And in fact, diet sodas will get you drunk even faster because there's no sucrose there to slow down the gastric emptying of alcohol. So the next time you're at the club and decide you need to perk up a little bit, just don't. The added energy really isn't worth it. What are your thoughts on this? Do you frequently mix energy drinks with alcohol? And how does doing so make you feel? Feel free to share your experiences with us in the comments down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.